morning. It's your boy. It's Harold Dillon Jr. and that guy. We're ready for the pre-market preparation trading hour. Opening bell. Hallelujah. Y'all, actually, you know this is part two. I did it again. <laughs> did an hour and 17 minutes of preaching, teaching, understanding, and enthusiastic manner, and there was no sound. Ah, man, I tell you, God is good. I told my mother-in-law that was just for me and her. So look, God has given us preparation. You got to see me moving and dancing. And I downloaded both of those videos. And I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put them out there as like reels and then put music or sound behind them and then put maybe some of the message that we're doing today as a marketing tool. But guys, listen, today is Dream Big Friday. We're calling it Dream Big Friday. Black Black Friday stock sales event. We're not out there in the shopping lines. We're not going to Best Buy. We're not going to Walmart. We're not going to Kohl's. What we're doing is we're buying stocks that are on sale during this Black Friday sales event. Remember, I told you guys, if you're out there shopping around, here's my number, 702-901-9128. Get your butt up. Let me know what's going on out there because we're buying Kohl's this morning. We're looking for stocks that are on sale. We're buying Kohl's. We bought Save the other day. What was Save? Uh, Spirit Airlines. So guys, listen, when we're buying the stocks, we're buying them because of a reason. There's certain catalysts that we look for. Catalyst is a news play that's verifiable, real-time, accurate information. Means that we already know what's going on, so we make a catalyst play. Coles, catalyst play. Spirit Airlines, catalyst play. These are things that we're going to be buying during the course of the day. Today is a short day. Stock market's not going to be open all day. So you want to be able to take advantage of what's going on around you. Hey guys, my name is Harold Dillon Jr. Today's word, today's word is day 307, living life abundantly. Why he came, living life abundantly. Christian financial wellness journey, abundant life. It is Dream Big Friday. Philippians 419, and my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. The term abundant life comes from the Bible verse John 10 10 B. I come that they might have life and that they may have it more abundantly. More abundantly means to have a super abundance of a thing. <laughs> abundant life refers to the life in its abundant fullness of joy and strength for spirit, soul, and body. God wants us to have more. God encourages us to have more. He said that I came, that's Christ talking to us, that they may have life and life more abundantly. It doesn't necessarily mean more monetary. It means that you move and operate inside of a world without a need. <laughs> Hallelujah! Without a need or dependence on something outside. I want to talk to y'all this morning. Glory be under your name, God. Listen, God is going to be moving and operating on us today. We're going to be doing another pop-up profit opportunity campaign. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a little cold out here. Got my coffee this morning. Kangaroo. Hallelujah. Ain't no Starbucks in parking. <laughs> <laughs> Look, ding, 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 ding. Opportunity. Maybe we should open a Starbucks in Parkton. Y'all better talk to me. We're going to be looking at the portfolios on today, guys. We have 10 neighborhood managed group portfolios. Not nine, not eight, but 10 neighborhood managed group portfolios. We're excited about it. The first one we're going to be talking about is the Family First Savings Fund group portfolio. <clears throat> Excuse me. Inside of this portfolio, we got Amazon, A-M-Z-N, Anointing, Mary, Zachariah, Nicodemus, Amazon. You want to own Amazon, something good to have inside of your portfolio. Talking to myself, investing members. Google, G-O-O-G-L, Google. You want to have Google in your portfolio. Google is, uh, is the parent company, is Alphabet. They own Gmail. You know y'all use Gmail. They own Alphabet. Uh, Alphabet is the parent company. Alphabet owns Google. They own YouTube. You know you use YouTube. Google search engines. That's what they're really known for. That's where they make their money at. Between And um, now... Football is being offered on YouTube. Why wouldn't you own Google? A, B, V, C. Stop right there. All right, get some nappies. Y'all hold on one second. I'm back, guys, and I apologize. You know, I don't know if it's sinuses or just a cold. Listen, we're inside the neighborhood, excuse me, we're inside the Family First Savings Fund group portfolio, guys. If you're just now joining us, my name is Harold Elam Jr. I'm the Internet Guy. We're the Parent Association for Community Investment Club. What is that? It is a private online community for retail investors. We're a faith-based organization, and we oversee the club. The club is made up for people who want to invest together. We have three levels of membership. If you want to join us and you're watching me live, you're already a member. Hallelujah! You have, we have self-investing 
members, we have learn as you earn members, and we have active investing members. Active investing members are those members who who pull our funds together. We're called a, a 3C1, which means we pull our funds together and we have clubs. Our clubs can have no more than 100 people. We have nine of those clubs that are recognized by the, by the SEC and the state of Nevada as a perpetual corporation. IGP oversees these clubs. We have 10 of them, but one of our clubs, our Neighborhood Economic Income Fund, is an actual private placement portfolio. Doesn't matter how many members it has doesn't matter how much money we put in. It is an actual private placement fund that we manage. The other nine are neighborhood managed group portfolios. And we thank and praise God that we're growing. We're growing, 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 growing. We pull our funds together and we create a buying platform that is more powerful than an individual investor may have trying to do it on its own. When we use a process, it's called group portfolio club investing. This helps reduce and eliminate the risk that any individual, even myself, would have trying to do this on their own. When you do it as a group, you have less risk, you have less um, investment, and you have a higher return. We all eat from the same portion of the same percentage, but we only get back the same percentage based on what we put in. If I put in $5 and the stock and the uh, portfolio goes up 30%, I get 30% of my $5. If I put in $500 and the portfolio goes up a 30%, I get 30% back of my $500. If I invest $5,000 and the portfolio goes up 30%, I get 30% back of my $5,000. And so we thank and praise God on the rules, the regulations, and the guidelines because everything that we teach is biblically based. We teach stewardship principles on how to be a better manager of God's time, God's word, and God's money. This ain't about the stock market. The stock market is just a platform we asked and prayed about we're going to use. If you're a plumber, you still need to implement biblically-based principles on stewardship. If you're a lawyer, you still need to implement biblically-based principles on stewardship. If you're a teacher, a cop, a police officer, a mother, a father, doesn't matter if you're selling t-shirts in the swap meet, you still need to implement the principles, biblically-based principles on stewardship. Stewardship. We're called from Proverbs 13, 22. A good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children and the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the just. There's a three-part process in that. Righteousness, meaning I'm in the right position. That's where it says a good man, a righteous man, an honorable man. That means I'm in the right position. Second is your vision. You've got to see the end result. It said leaves an inheritance for their children's children. Somebody got to break the curse. Somebody got to be able to wake up the family and say, hey, we got this so that my grandkids don't have to struggle. That's the vision. Then you have the assignment. The assignment is the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the just. Somebody got to go work. And you can't go just knock on the man door and say... Hello, Mr. Wicked Man. I came to get what belongs to me. No, that's not how it works. God could make it work that way, but that's not what he gave us. He, everything he does for us, we have to do decent and in order. We have to not only honor what's going on around us, but we have to be respected by those that live around us. We are, we're in the world, but we're not part of the world. And all morning long, God has been dealing with me. And even in my silent video that I made this morning, God had me talking about segregation and integration. Had me thinking about separation. Had me thinking about organized religion. And I was like, God, why are you showing me? This? He said, because I told him, come out from amongst them. Be ye separate, says the Lord. And a lot of times, the reason why our ministries are not growing, because we haven't come out from amongst them. We haven't separated ourselves. We haven't stood on the word of God inside of our church. We haven't stood on the word of God inside of our community. We haven't stood on the word of God. We, what we've done is we brought the outside influences of the world into the ministry, the outside influences of the world into our business. We brought the outside influences of the world into our marriage. And that's why it's failing. That's why the growth is stagnated and it won't move. That's why eventually you get to word level and members start to leave and they start thinking on why they're leaving oh I'm mad no it's because it's stagnated no one you're not getting to where God would want you to be you're getting the results of what you've implemented from the world if you do what the world does you're gonna get what the world got when you begin to stand on what God tells you to do you watch the growth we've watched the growth talk about investment group partners talking about community investment club we watch God grow us we're in year three and already already hallelujah already God is doing great things in our life and it's not because of us it's because of him being it's because of him using us hallelujah in our obedience and it ain't always been hard and every, every once in a while we ain't always done it right but thank god for mercy and grace because he allows us the opportunity to sit down and say lord 
forgive us. Oh, you know what? I need to check and make sure I ain't silent. <laughs> I seen the blue light. And I seen it moving, but we want to thank and praise God. Let me make sure we won't, because I did a whole hour and 17 minutes. And I said, that must have been for me and my mother-in-law twice. I did it yesterday and today. If you see the light, it's from my phone. Um, but right now we are checking to make sure. I seen it moving. Oh. Oh, I heard myself. Hallelujah. <laughs> We're not going to make the same mistake twice. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Call your mama, call your daddy, your auntie, your uncle, your sister, your brother. Call Big Mama and them down south. What? Tell them it's Harold Deal of Junior, the internet guy. He's live, 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 live on social media. It is home for the holidays. This is, we're still in our home for the holidays campaign. I'm going to be doing pop-up profit opportunities. I'm going to be introducing my crazy family to you guys. I posted a series of selfies on yesterday. Just showing you man it doesn't cost anything think about this we used to have those polaroid cameras and then those polaroid cameras and before then we had the kodak cameras we spent thousands of dollars on film we used to take the cam pictures buy the rolls of film buy the flashes with the big square cube then we got to take them down to get them developed and we pay for the pictures and we put them in our photo albums now we got thousands of photo albums nowadays all you need is your phone how hard is it to take a picture with somebody you love and then you can post it on Facebook. You guys are, are out of order sometimes when you don't see the blessings that God has put into your life. The problem is our end result intentions of what we're being blessed with sometimes corrupts us. I, I, I was quiet. I was waiting on you guys. Because now we're operating in a corrupt society that's supposed to be separate from the world. I'm going to keep talking about it. I told you the Lord woke me up with integration, separation, segregation, organization. Those are the ones he gave me. Those are all the shuns, the organization, the separation, the segregation. Those are the things he gave me. And I said, Lord, why are you giving me this? Because I come out from amongst them. I was like, oh. Am I still among them? Come out from amongst them, saith the Lord. Be ye separate, saith the Lord. My people are peculiar, saith the Lord. But yet and still, we're bringing the world into this. Today's word, if y'all guys didn't know, we publish it every single day that God wakes us up. Every single day. Today's word is abundant living. Living life abundantly, why he came. The term abundant life comes from the Bible verse, John 10, 10b. Now, the first thing is Christ talks about the enemy for the enemy comes to steal, kill and destroy. Then he separates himself and he says, but I come, <laughs> hallelujah, I come that they may have life and then they may have it more abundantly. More abundantly means to have a super abundance of a thing. Abundant life refers to the life and its abundant fullness of joy and strength for spirit, soul and body. So God wants me to have more, but he wants me to have more over there. <laughs> he wants me to have more away from them. Y'all better talk to me. And it's okay because if, when, listen, when we were segregated, I'm talking to black folks for a minute. Y'all get mad at me if you want. And uh, right now, I need you to understand something. We had communities that flourished when we were segregated. Our school, we had to create our own schools. We had to create our own neighborhoods. We had millionaires in our neighborhood. And then we looked over there, just like the children of Israel said, we want to be like them. And now those same communities are ghetto. I'll wait. I got a moment of silence because we thought that the integration was the way to go. And I'm not being political right now because I'm jumping into politics with this Philadelphia project. And they told me I got to change my political affiliation. And I said, okay, Lord, can I do that? Should I do that? Lord said, be independent. Because I'm whatever I bless you with, Harold, whatever I give to you in that ministry and those people whom I'm assigned to you, those people I've entrusted to you, whatever y'all going to get, y'all going to get it over there. Be ye separate, saith the Lord. Y'all going to get it over there. <laughs> so we moved over there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because once we stand on God's word, here's what God tells us to do. It doesn't matter what he tells you to do, but here's how he wants you to respond to what he tells you to do. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not to thy own understanding. Acknowledge him in all thy ways, and he 
will direct our path. So we, we moved over there. Y'all better talk to me. Today's word, guys, is living life abundantly. Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for welfare, not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Living life abundantly is living a life to the fullest, not merely existing or simply trying to make a living. In Matthew 6 25, Jesus says not to worry about our life. What we will eat or drink or what we will wear, abundant life is not necessarily a life of comfort and ease. It's not, it is not dependent on outside circumstances. <laughs> Be ye separate, saith the Lord, come out from amongst them. It means that we're not dependent on outside circumstances. I ain't on welfare, outside circumstances. I don't need social security outside circumstances. I don't need your pension outside circumstances. I'm not telling you they're not good things to have, but hear me. Bible says not dependent on outside circumstances. Woo! <laughs> now we talk about abundant living. Because you're supposed to trust in God. The children of Israel already had a king. They were under a monarchy. Here, somebody delivered them out of bondage. <laughs> Parted the Red Sea. Fed them manna from the sky. Gave them whatever they wanted. They got the land of Canaan. Hallelujah. They had the promised land fruits that they couldn't eat. Giants. God said, all this belongs to you. And then they looked around and said, we want what they got. They had a king. And God warned them about a king. Here's what you're going to get. And this prophet came back. They want a king. And I looked at us, us as a culture, and we thought, and that's why God gave me the word integration, because we wanted to be integrated. We want to be like them. Now, we want, now we're not like them. And, and why would you want to be like them? Why? I want y'all to understand that. For, 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 forget the ethnicity for a minute. Why would you want to be like them if the world is, if God is telling you to come out from amongst them? Why? Uh, listen, listen, we, we're going to be trading stocks today. Just so you guys know, we're looking for those stocks that are on sale. Sale, sale, it's Black Friday. It's Dream Big Friday, the Black Friday stock sales event. We bought Save on, on Wednesday before, uh, before the Thanksgiving holiday, for the Thanksgiving day, whatever they want to call it. But we bought Save, Save the Spirit Airlines. You need to be buying Save. Why? Because uh, JetBlue is going to be buying Save. It's a catalyst play. We're buying Spirit Airlines because it's a catalyst play. Bye, 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 bye. S-A-V-E, salvation, anointing, victory, Elijah. Save. You want to buy it because right now JetBlue is offering them. The deal look like it's going to go through. Catalyst play me and I might have to hold on to the stock for a little bit. This, they're offering $33.50 a share of stock trading at $13. Why aren't you buying it? Oh, they asked me if I'm still watching the TV. Oh, my God. Where's my remote? It's over there. Y'all got to hold on a second. Listen, if you guys didn't know, we're home for the holidays. I'm broadcasting live from my mother-in-law's house. Beautiful home. Got the fireplace behind me. Got the pictures. Got family. Hallelujah. If you're home for the holidays, hug on somebody. Love on somebody. I'm trying to get my TV started again. There we go. Let me turn the volume up a little bit. There we go. We're watching CNBC, guys. Why do you watch CNBC? They're there for our real-time, verifiable, accurate information. We also watch them for the ticker tape. You always want to have some type of news show going on with you because that way you can know what's going on. At least in one ear, you're hearing some information that may help you make an intelligent decision based on where you're going. Your end result expectation is imperative, but you also have to know how to get there. Now, the road is not mapped out by you. It's mapped out by God. So you have to let God create the how as you go along. This is the reason why we talk about Ecclesiastes 7 and 8. It doesn't matter. We talk about it on a monetary level, but it's also used on every level. So when you read a different translation of Ecclesiastes 11, 1 through 6, 1 through 2, we focus on. And the reason why we focus and jump around like that, because God gives us the ability, he said, precept upon precept, out of the book of Isaiah, line upon line, here a little, there a little, is how the word of God is taught. But in order to be able to do that, 2 Timothy 2.15 tells you, in order to do that, you got to study to show yourself approved unto God, not unto man, unto God, so he can show you how to navigate through this Bible 
pertaining to the end result expectations of the assignment for which you've been called. Not for what your pastor's been called, not for what your wife has been called, not for what your mama been called, but for what you've been called. Even the little song that the girl sang on Sunday morning, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Everywhere I go, because God has given us all a light. God has given us all uh, an opportunity to do something. He said, listen, pray for me. This, some, sometimes it may sound a little selfish, but you have to get to what God has for you so that you can operate and be able to help somebody else out. Listen, the Bible says, even if I was a pastor, y'all want to talk to me. If my house ain't right, I don't need to be pastoring. If you can't bless your family, why are you out there laying hands on other people? If you can't lay hands on the sick in your own house, what you out there doing it for the public? What good are you? That makes you a hireling. That makes you some sort of fraudulent activity because everything around you got to be right because you're an example. You're a light. You're the earth. You're the salt of the earth. <laughs> you're the flavor. Hallelujah. We're home for the holidays, guys. We're going to have some fun while we're doing this. We're going to be trading stocks today like we always do. We do it all day, every day, without fail, no exceptions. Our goal is to get an end result expectation based on what we do. We have a strategy. Part of our strategy is called STS, Sector Trading Strategy. Let me teach you for a while. Sector means separation. Sector means separation. You got to be willing and able to stand on something and go by the guidelines. One of the things that we've been doing is teaching our new uh, executives for IGP. We got a whole new staff that's going to be starting in July, January. Hallelujah. They're going to be starting in January and uh, they're being trained on not how to do what they do because they're already good at what they've been called to do, but how to do it God's way. My job is to teach you how to be a better steward and them how to be a better steward of God's time, God's money, and God's word. How to be a better steward. And where at inscription does it tell me how to operate and be a better steward? That's what's important. How to establish, manage, and maintain the framework of your family's financial future. That's what we do. All day, every day, without fail, no exceptions. What are we buying today? We're buying Coles. KSS, Kingdom, Solomon, Solomon. We're buying KSS, Coles. They gave four of the biggest department stores. It's going to be hit today. Four of the biggest. They had Target number one, Walmart number two, Home Depot. I was shocked myself, Home Depot. And Kohl's. Kohl's was the unexpected. Kohl's is the underdog. Kohl's is a catalyst play. I don't shop at Kohl's. Somebody shops at Kohl's. Somebody doing something down there. But Kohl's is a catalyst play. Why is it a catalyst play, Harold? Kohl's normally trades at $45 a share. You can buy it right now for $23. $23. Y'all better talk to me. So we're going to Kohl's, KSS. But before we buy, we're going over, over what, Harold? One of our neighborhood managed group portfolio. Which one are we going over? Family First Savings Fund Group Portfolio. We want to make certain we got the right stocks. We went over. What do we own? Amazon, Google, ABVC. What is ABVC? It is a medical health care stock. It is a medical stock. It's ABV, excuse me, ABVC. A is in anointing. B is in Bartholomew. V is in victory. C is in Christ. ABVC Biopharma. Uh, it's right now trading at, well, we own it for $1.83. Closed at $1.87. Markets open up in 30 minutes, guys. This is the pre-market preparation trading hour. We're going to be going straight from here to opening bell because I did an hour and 17 minutes of a silent video. Lord, forgive me. Um, so I guess that was for me. God is preparing me for the preparation hour. But we're going to be looking at KSS, KSS, Coles right now. We're buying Coles at 23.35, trading up 0.7769%. We're looking at <coughs> ABVC. It's trading at $1.91, closed at $1.87. We own it for $1.83. We're going to hold that. VFS, VFS, Victory uh, Faith. Solomon, Victory, Faith, Solomon, y'all better talk to me. VFF is a, a, a Vietnamese, Vietnamese car company building something in, building a, a car plant in North Carolina. Y'all better hear me. And because they're building a car plant in North Carolina, this also is a catalyst play. We want to buy as much VFS, Victory, Faith, Solomon, as we can up to $7. We don't want to buy it over $7. The stock is traded as high as $93. 
Y'all talk to me. That's a catalyst play. How do you know it's going to get back to $93? I don't know. That's what a catalyst play is all about. You got to get real-time, verifiable, accurate information. But let me give you some of the catalysts. As they come closing to opening up this new plant, the news of opening is going to make the stock go up. As they begin hiring people and the new employees walk into the doors, the news of the new employees are going to make the stock go up as they begin to roll cars off the assembly line. The news of these cars rolling off the assembly line is going to make the stock go up. VFS, you want to buy it. Buy, 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 buy. It's at six. Well, let's look it up. Right now, VFS, it closed at 618. Hallelujah. But we're going to look it up right now. It is trading in pre-market 618. Well, 620. So you can buy it for 620. We're going to buy it up to $7 as much as we can possibly buy. Apple, we own Apple. Why do we own Apple? Apple's doing everything. Tim Cook now runs Apple. Um, the guy that started Apple, and I can't even think of his name. I thought of his name when I did my silent video. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's now passed away, but uh, he, he started Apple. Save, save, save is the, uh, is the Spirit Airlines catalyst play. So we have three catalyst plays already we have kss which you're going to buy today kss is coals we have vfs victory faith solomon which is the uh, vietnamese car company building a plant in north carolina it's already started already broken ground we're going to buy as much stock as we can because we're believing the stock's going to go back up to the near 90s now it may take a while what a catalyst play is something you hold on to you got to water it come on you got to plant it, you got to water it, and you got to let Christ grow it. We, When we do things, we do it decent and in order, but we do those things based on spiritual, based on biblically based principles concerning stewardship. So when a catalyst play, catalyst plays are something that we hold on to based on real-time, accurate, verifiable information. They're building a plant. Stock's trading down. When stock opened up, it was trading as high as $93, but that was based on all this excitement and this news of them building the plant. Well, the plant had started. Look it up. VinFast Automotive LTD are building a plant right here, I think right outside of Durham. But that's why we're buying it for $6. We're buying as many as we can. So when it goes back to $93, if we own 1,000 shares, that's $93,000, one play, one portfolio, one deal. People wonder why we do so well as a community investment club because we follow the rules on stewardship. One of the biggest things God is telling us to do right now, separate yourselves. I need you to stand on the word of God. I need you to stand on my word in spite of what the world may think. I need you to separate yourselves. I need you to come out from amongst him. So here's God telling us that so I can do things for you, so I can give you more, but I need you to be over there. Get over there. Get away from them. Listen, let me give you another scripture from today's lesson. Hey, guys, today's rainbow word is live life abundantly. I'm going to give you one you should know. Romans 12, 2. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, comma, that by testing, your, by testing you may discern what is the will of God, comma, what is good and acceptable and perfect? What, what is the will of God concerning you, concerning your end result expectations? I don't know what God told you to do unless you tell me what God told you to do. I don't know your end result expectation. Let God reveals it to me and let me know your end result expectation. You got to get a relationship with God. You got to meditate. You got to get intimate with him and find out what you're supposed to be doing. I know what I've been called to do, and I'm working inside of the will of God concerning the end result expectation. My job is to teach you every day that God awakes me to finish the work, how to establish, manage, and maintain the framework of your family's financial future. That is my job within the body of Christ. And part of that thing on today, God said, I want you to have life and I want you to have life more abundantly. That's why I came. But the way you're going to have it is you got to separate yourself. Get over there. Get away from them. Come out from amongst them. That's what scripture says. Come out from amongst them and be ye separate, saith the Lord. And it ain't just in your living. It really is the physical. Come out from amongst them. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Oh, man. 
Anyway, so we're going to be buying VinFast. Oh, we already own VinFast. Hallelujah. We're buying calls, calls, calls. But we're going through this portfolio because we're going to find out what we're going to get rid of. Gap. We bought Gap on last week. Gap was a, 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 a earnings play. We like Gap. Trading at six. We bought it at 1617. It's trading at 1880. Um, Walmart's going up. We're holding Walmart. But we want to look back at the Gap and see where the Gap is trading at right now. Gap is GPS. God, Paul, Solomon, GPS, Gap. Gap is trading at 1878. It closed at 1880. So we're right there. We're holding, we're up 16% worth of equity. So we're going to stay with the gap. We also want to look at a firm. A firm is that thing where you could buy like an airline ticket and they give you an opportunity to buy it on four pieces of four payments. A firm is like a, 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 a credit, like having credit without getting a credit card. A F R M, I believe it is. It is a firm holdings. It's trading at twenty five seventy four. It's a recommended buy. The high is twenty seven sixteen. Not a real big play, but something you we may want to invest in. We're going to take a look at a firm, especially during the holiday season. Some of these are going to be short term investments. We'll keep it for up to three months. We're not going to do too many short plays like daily, but we will do a catalyst play and a momentum play for the quarter because we're going into the last. quarter quarter of the year and during the last quarter of the year every company out there guys hear me and hear me well they're looking to put more money on the books so that means what they're doing is they're they got crews and sales teams out there doing what they're supposed to be doing so they can put as much money on the books at the end of the year so that they can be profitable and because of because of what they're doing, I dropped my phone, because of what they're doing, it allows for them an opportunity to set up bonuses for their salespeople, bonuses for their managers. So there's managers and they're working to do it. And that gives us an opportunity to buy a particular stock and then make money from it because of their efforts. Their efforts. They're working hard. The big boss is saying, do this, do this. And they're like, oh, we got to do this. And they're putting up sales and they're doing their ads and they're on TikTok and Instagram. They're doing all this. The wealth of the wicked is stored up for the just, giving us an opportunity to make some money. Y'all better talk to me. Y'all better understand the economics of how God is doing this thing. Man, we teach you every day on, on what God is doing and you hear me, but you're not listening. Or you listening and you're not hearing me. I need you to hear me. I really do. Don't focus on me. If you don't like me, I'm fine with that. But hear the words that are coming out of my mouth and then verify them with the word of God and then start implementing them. Once you verify and understand them, start implementing them into your daily activities so that you too can live an abundant life. That is what God has given us. Jeremiah 29 11 wasn't there for just me. It's there for all of us. But we have to be willing to do what God would tell us to do concerning rules, regulations, guidelines. Then your situations and your circumstances will change. Then the negative Nancys and the Dalton Thomases won't affect you. Then you ain't got to worry about having more month left than money. Talk to me. Anyway, this Harold Hill Jr., I'm live, live, live. Live from North Carolina. I'm super happy, man. I'm down here with my family. We're doing a home for the holidays all weekend long. I'm going to be doing pop-up profit opportunities, doing selfies with the family, showing you, teaching you, guiding you through this. I'm with you all weekend. I want you to do some things that you ain't never did before. We spent all that money on film and camera. Now all you got to do is take your phone and take a picture. Ain't no developing. You can post it. Tell them you love them. I don't know if I'm catching a little cold or just sinuses. You know, every time I get on these calls, man, uh, I, my, I just get a runny nose. Glory be unto your name, God. All right, so we're looking at our portfolio, February, uh, Family First Savings Fund Group portfolio. We know inside of this portfolio is Amazon, Google, Apple. Those are the ones we're definitely keeping. We're playing ABVC. It is a play. It's a medical play. It's part of the sector trading STS sector trading strategy inside of the sector trading strategy. We know there are 12 different sectors. 12 stands for government. 12 stands for government. We take away four of those sectors, which we recognize or identify as high risk sectors. Healthcare is currently a high risk sector. In December, it will be moved out of that category. But for right now, we take four away from 12. That leaves us with eight. Eight stands for new beginnings. You got to realize and figure out what numbers mean in God. So we're well, uh, healthcare right now is a high risk sector. What do we do with high risk sectors? We play those stocks. We trade those stocks. We don't invest in those stocks. But healthcare is becoming an investable 
uh, sector. And so we're going to be removing it in December or sooner if God says today. But right now, the Holy Spirit ain't speaking that. We will, it's not going to be no longer in December a high-risk sector. But right now, we're playing A, B, B, C. Then fast is a catalyst play. Not necessarily investment. A catalyst is between an investment and a trade. But if we have real-time, verifiable, accurate information, we can make a catalyst play. Then fast is trading less. It's at $6, traded as high as $93. We'll keep buying it up to $7 and hold it until they finish with the plant. Where are they building the plant? Right here in North Carolina. North Carolina, raise up. Take your shirt off. Spin it around your head like a helicopter. <laughs> Hallelujah. Save. Save is another catalyst play. We're holy save. Why? Save is, is Spirit Airlines. They're being bought out by JetBlue. Looks like the deal's going to go through. $33.50 a share with a $2.50 bonus. So we're up to $36 a share. The stock is trading at what? Uh, save $13. Y'all better get in where you fit in. Guys, we got 30 minutes. Oh, actually, we got 10 minutes before the market's open. I'm not going to be with you long. I already did an hour worth of video. Man, I'm telling you, my body is physically tired. Unless the Holy Spirit tells me to stay online, we're going to be trading offline. But right now, guys, we're looking at... Uh, we're going to be buying Kohl's. Let me go back and see where Kohl's is right now. KSS. KSS. Kohl's is the underdog of the day. It is our recommended buy for the day. Kohl's. KSS. Are y'all with me? Kohl's. KSS. KSS. Waiting for it to load on our computers. Hey, guys. You're just now joining us. My name is Harold Dillon Jr. I'm the internet guy from Investment Group Partners. We're the parent association for Community Investment Club. Our job is to oversee Community Investment Club. We are a faith-based organization recognized by the state of Nevada as a perpetual cooperation. I'm the CEO and co-founder. I'm also the face and the voice. But I'm not IGP by myself. We have a COO, Diane Brown. We have a CI that's a chief investment offer. officer, Ivory Hayes. We have a CFO. That is Kimberly uh, Schofield. That's a chief financial officer. We have a CMO. That's a chief marketing officer. That's Reggie Campbell. Man, we have a, a slew of executive support members. We have uh, Elder Mary George. She is a, uh, a business senior business development director. On your right, she's a, a business development director. We have Joyce Washington. She's our director of member services. These are people I, I give thanks to God for sending them in my life to help us run this thing. We have a president, Derek Stewart. He is the president of IGP. We have a vice president, Dwayne Brown. This makes up our executive team. We have a, 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 a board of directors. Oh my God, if I had all their names in front of me, I'd give them to you. But we have board of directors, Carol Campbell. She's a, 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 a entrepreneur inside of uh, Phoenix. Uh, I think Carol lives in Phoenix. She has a, 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 a a, a commercial piece of property for beauty and and and, and supplies and wellness center. Uh, she runs a, a nonprofit organization. Her and her son, glory be unto their name, God. Uh, Travis Cutchin, he's a financial genius. Used to be in the car business with us. Runs his own bank. Uh, runs a place where he can get you money. We call him the bank. Hallelujah. He sits on our board of directors. Ida Black, Mother Ida Black. She makes the best bread in the country. They call it cake. I call it bread. It's good. But she's a praying woman of God. She sits on our board of directors. And uh, uh, Eldon Brown, uh, Deacon Eldon Brown, goes to Nehemiah Ministries right here in Las Vegas, Nevada, or right there. I'm in North Carolina, but right here, I'm from I'm from North Carolina, living in Las Vegas, and we're recording in North Carolina. Home for the holidays. But Eldon Brown, I'm just naming members of our um, of our, our, our board of directors. Glory be upon your name, God. Um, who else is on the board of directors? Glory be upon you. There's a whole list of names, but I just wanted you guys to know that I'm not only IGP. I'm just a voice in the face. So if we uh, we are a ministry that makes me the leader. That's God has made me the head. And so there's a lot of responsibility on my shoulders. But I thank and praise God for the ones and the people he put around me to help pray for me, keep me lifted up, and keep my arms up when they get tired. And God, we thank God for that. But guys, we're getting back to live training. I am live. I'm live from North Carolina. This is home for the holidays. Man, I've been taking a slew of selfies. I shaved this morning. I seen a little roughness on yesterday. <laughs> I would say, Lord, did I even bring my razors? Because I hate buying new razors because I, I use certain brand. 
You understand me? I use a certain brand. That certain brand we invest in. Y'all better talk to me. You choose what you want to do. You choose what you want to wear. You choose how you want to live. The greatest gift God has given us, it, with the exception of Jesus Christ dying on the, is my hat straight? With the exception of Jesus Christ dying on the cross, in my opinion, is the freedom of choice. You choose today whether you want to live or die. You choose today whether you want to be right or wrong. You choose today whether you want to be happy or sad. You choose. And the beauty of it is God going to love you anyway. I'm going to love you anyway. But you choose. You got That's one of the greatest gifts God has given us, the freedom of choice. And I, I can hear uh, Moses telling this day, choose life or choose death. So you choose. Guys, my name is Harold Dillon Jr. I'm the Internet Guy. We're looking at Kohl's right now. I'm going in and we're going to be buying Kohl's. If you're a self-investing member, you're doing this thing on your own. You already got your own brokerage account. You already got your disposable income. You already know how to navigate through. You want to be buying Kohl's. You want to be buying Kohl's this morning. Kohl's is the underdog. We're buying Kohl's for our family first. A member portfolio. We'll switch it out later. We're going to go ahead and get 100 shares of Kohl's. Y'all better talk to me. We love Kohl's. Well, we're going to start out with 50 shares. We'll come back and buy some more later. But we're going to start out with 50 shares. Kohl's is trading at $23.46. It is the underdog. The market's open up in about five minutes. It's going to go live. It's all the way live. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. I love music, man. I don't know about you guys, but I love old music. I don't know what you call it, the classics or the oldies, but the goodies or the best of R&B. I love old music. And this time of the year is the time of the year when you play that old music. I was playing it out in the yard with my family while I'm taking pictures. They, Uncle Harold always taking pictures. They complain about me taking pictures. But as soon as I take them pictures, they always call me, Uncle Harold, you got that picture you took? So you imagine, I was the one with the film and the camera. I spent a whole lot of money on pictures because I always like taking pictures. But now I just use my phone. You want to bless somebody today? Take a selfie with somebody, then send them the picture. Take a picture of the family. Come on, man. This is the holiday season, and it shouldn't be the holiday season that calls you want to love on your family. If you can't take care of family first, what are you doing? You told me you were saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Spirit, and you can't even bless your own family. You can't even deal with your own family. You can't even pray with your own family. You can't even be around your own family. Shh. Come on, people. When I come around, they get uncomfortable. Glory be unto your name, because Christ is in me, the ones that ain't saved. They start apologizing. Oh, whoa, I'm, I, woo, Uncle Harold, I'm sorry. I didn't mean, no. It's the spirit in me. You change the atmosphere when you walk around. You should want to be around them, because it gives you an opportunity to pray for them, to bless them, to establish and show them the possibilities. You're a light, and a light on a hill cannot be hid. You get around people, you start cutting off your light. Shame on you. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. We just bought Kohl's, y'all. We bought us 50 shares of Kohl's. We're going to buy some more. Markets open up in about five minutes. We, we Glory be unto your name, God. What are we going to get rid of? We're going through our individual neighborhood managed group portfolios. We have 10 now. Guys, if you didn't know, we launched a new one on Wednesday. It's called the Diversified Portfolio Group Investments. Diversified Portfolio Group Investments. That's our newest neighborhood managed group portfolio. It's going to have a little bit of everything in it. Anything that the market sells, we're going to buy for the for the uh, diversified portfolio portfolio group investments. DPGI, uh, David, Paul, God, Israel. DPGI, Diversified Portfolio Group Investments. So it's not that we're going to be uh, doing a different type of trade. We're going to be buying a different type of product. Normally what we buy are individual stocks. We call that Community Reinvestment Program. We buy what we already spend money on. So if I drink Starbucks, we own Starbucks. If I shop at Walmart, we own Walmart. If I shop at Target, we own Target. If I use Verizon, we own Verizon. So those are individual stock picks. That is what God has given us. God said, you're already investing in something. Now won't you really invest in something with an expected return? A lot of times we go to church, but we ain't saved. But since you're going to church, why not give your life to Christ? Since you're going to church, why not ask God to fill you with the Holy Spirit? While you go in the church...
Y'all don't want to talk to me. Man, I want to open up your door of opportunity. I want to open up your mind that you may see, hear, and understand what God is doing for you in this hour, in this day and age. You can say what you want to say. Oh, but I'm a better preacher than Harold. That's fine with me. Oh, I do this. Better. Oh, he don't know what he's talking about. That means I'm stepping on your toes because if you've already offended, if you're already perturbed by what I'm telling you, your church is stagnated. You know why? Because you don't brought the world into your church. If God told you to separate yourself, that means you got to stand on the word of God. You got to be able to tell people, you know what? I got a problem with homosexuality. You got to be able to say that. And you got to say that in love and encouragement, but I'm here to help you. You got to know what God is doing. You got to be able to tell the, the world what the word says and what the, they should expect from the word. God already said that this would exist. Why would I pray against it? <laughs> Hallelujah! Ah, oh, man, I need to talk to some of these leaders in the church, man. Glory be upon your name, God. Hallelujah. You got to be able to take a stand, but look what God is doing. It's almost like me. I love my oldest son, man. I love him, and I'm not even going to put his name out there, but everybody who know me know him, and glory be under your name. He got problems, but you know what? I was, I was part of his problem because I love him so much. If he need, I gave. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Out of love. You know, eventually God just woke me up and they were just, they had like a, uh, what are them things, an a intervention for me yesterday. They're like, okay, Harold, we love you. Okay, Harold, but let me tell you, you need to leave that boy. And I was like, oh, man, okay. I said, okay, God, I hear you. And it was God's way of doing an intervention to say, you know what? Let them hit rock bottom. I got them. And then I remember what God said, that trust in the Lord. And I tell people, I brag in the Lord that that's one of my live-in scriptures. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not to thy own understanding. Acknowledge him in all thy ways, and he will direct thy path. And here's God telling me through other people, through other people, I thought maybe I had muted myself. <laughs> through other people, let me handle it. And sometimes we have to give our children over to God. He's a grown man. Grown man, you hear me? But I was enabling him to be weak. I was enabling him not to be able to have strength. So I have to let him go through. I went through. And I'm not saying I want him to go through what I went through. Because that's what we say. We, I don't want my kids to go through what I went through. And then I remember God telling me in Proverbs 13, 22, a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. So this ain't even about my kids. He told me what to do with my kids, raise them the way they're supposed to go. Teach them what they're you supposed to teach them. Show them what they're supposed to do. And, I, and I'm just uh, paraphrasing. And, and when they get older, when they go astray, prayerfully they remember what you taught them. Hopefully that word will come back to them. It did for me. It did for me because as a young man, when I was his age, I was in trouble. I wasn't in trouble all the time, like trouble, trouble. I was in trouble financially because I would start business after business. I was in trouble marriagely. I done been married four times. Y'all ain't want to talk to me. I was in trouble because I was, I was a functional drug addict. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Glory be unto your name. And then God came and took me. He snatched me out the world because there were things that I was doing contrary to what he had planned for me and he snatched me out the world how did he snatch me how did he get me man that's up to god but i do know that the prayers of eva holland that's my grandma my late grandma prayers out for her prayers of gene elam that's my mother somewhere along the markets are open but that's somewhere along the line when i was living in california going to school in california and working in california those prayers were protecting me watching me covering me keeping me because none of this happened with god until i moved to north carolina and i'm not blaming it on the state i'm not it's the fact of the state god snatched me out of the world gave me a reason he moves mountains to make certain he gets to you and that you start following that's how much he loved me because it was a major earthquake in, North, in, in California, they said, nope, I'm tired. I'm going home. I can't do this anymore. God moved mountains to make certain that I got that word. And then when I got to North Carolina, I started at one place, ended up at another place. Then he sent this young man to chase me about coming to church, about coming to church. And I said, I don't do church. At that time in my life, I don't do it. He said, Harold, you're such a motivational speaker. I will teach people how to be salespeople, how to sell more cars, how to make more money. Every, I've been a businessman all my life 
And I said, bro, I don't do churches. That ain't what I do. He finally chased me down. Father's Day. Father's Day became real important to me. Father's Day is when I gave my life to Christ. Father's Day is when my daughter, it was announced to me she was going to be born. Father's Day is when I lost my son. That's what's important. And so, listen to me, guys. God will move mountains to make certain that you're able to do what he's called you to do. He'll place you in a position of purpose, and that purpose you've never been in before. But in that purpose, he said, I want to grow you. I want to teach you how to still serve me and grow, even though you've never been here before. And you think and you praise God, but that's when you have to know scripture in order to live in that scripture. Because without knowing that scripture, you can't live in that scripture. And it will, because listen, I was talking to Pastor Hatch the other day, Michael Hatch. If y'all don't know him, awesome man of God. He's one of our active investing members, one of my spiritual brothers. I pray and ask for God to send men in my life I ain't got to minister to. Not that I don't want to minister to you guys, but every once in a while, I just want to talk. I just want to be Harold. I just want to have some brothers that I can chat with and chop it up with, and we can talk about the Lord. And God sent me past the hatch. He's one of those brothers. I got a list of them now. I used to have two. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now I got a list of them I can just chat up with and I can be humble with and I can be vulnerable and not in danger. <laughs> vulnerable. That's a, a sermon waiting to happen. Vulnerable, but not in danger. But Pastor Hatch was over my house. Let me talk for three hours. Let me just run. And I said, man of God, you need to say, man, I just want to get to know you, man of God. And I thank and I praise God for his spirit. But he told me something in walking out the door. He said, Harold, we were talking about faith and how some people get it and they don't get it. And I said, man, God just had me sometimes to repeat myself over and over and over again. He said, because my people stiff neck, Harold, my people hard headed, they lazy. I need you to go back. Stop what you're doing over there and go back and talk to them again and again and again. He said, because sometimes intellectually we get it. And so in my mind, I got intellectual faith. Intellectual faith? Wait a minute. I got that. Intellectual faith? He said, but intellectual faith don't hold. Because it'll, it'll, it'll keep you, but it won't hold. Because eventually your intellectual faith, when God tells you to do something, it ain't going to make sense to you. Because intellectually you got it, but it ain't in you. It, it ain't part of your heart. This is when God even tells you, even when you give your life to Christ, it said, confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. Intellectually, I know that I can lay hands on the sick and they'll recover. Intellectually, I know that I can that I can call on, I can rebuke the enemy. Intellectually, I know. But God said intellectually, eventually it's going to be challenged and the intellect will not hold because it's not going to make sense. But when it's in you, hallelujah, thank you, Pastor Hatch, hallelujah, when it's in you, it holds. So then I can say all things. Mm. My wife left me. All things. My son died. All things. I lost my job. All things. Church walked out. All things work together for the good. <laughs> hallelujah work together for the good them that love god one category y'all better get over there and them that are called according to his purpose y'all better get over there this is why god separates us but yet no you want to be integrated you want to be you want to be in with the crowd he tells you that the broad road leads to hell the narrow road is the one that's least traveled sometimes you'll be the only one walking on that road but when you do meet somebody thank you pastor hatch hallelujah then you walk with them because they're going to in the same direction they got the same spirit and god says give them to give it the time try the spirits by the spirits to make sure they're of me because if they're not you better walk a little faster on that road but <laughs> hallelujah glory <laughs> my nose running i'm sitting there just wipe my nose y'all forgive me hallelujah glory the markets are open apples trading down let me put my glasses on i'm sitting here talking to y'all apples down a little bit Let's see here. PDD Holdings. Uh, that's uh, those are the people that own um, uh, Timu. Y'all been shopping on Timu. Marvel is trading up. Marvel, uh, not the uh, the, um, the the superheroes. Uh, United Airlines. Airlines is trading up, but we're not buying those airlines. So I'm looking at the stores. Bath and Body Works. Let me go look at the market. See where we are. I guess God gonna have me stay with y'all. We make sure we trading up or trading down. We're refreshing our screens right now. Waiting for them to load. All U.S. markets are open. They close early at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So it's open until 1 o'clock. 
Right now, we are, let me check everything. Let me check our summary. And then we're going to go through the individual stocks, guys, right now. If you're just now joining us, I'm Harold Elam Jr., Internet Guy. Happy Thanksgiving. This is Home for the Holidays edition. We're doing a live remote right here in North Carolina with my family. Uh, we're going to be trading today. The markets will close at 1 o'clock. Right now, our, our portfolios are trading down 0.12%. Uh, we bought $121,000 to the market today. It's a short day. That's all the money we're going to be playing with in the market on today. Um, and we're going to look and see if we can't add another $30,000 to the pot, y'all. Y'all better talk to me. It's a short day today. Uh, we have 10 neighborhood managed group portfolios. 10, not 9, not 8, not 7, but 10. The 10 neighborhood managed group portfolios include the Tax Havens Family Fund group portfolio. It's trading up by itself, 0.0. .0 five percent so it has some equity ultra growth member fund one of our most consistent highest paying portfolios it's trading up 0.20 percent that's the ultra growth member fund group portfolio emerging markets now the chinese markets are going down the foreign markets are going down there's a lot going on in foreign countries they have them streets the wars in the streets and everything but it's trading down 0.81 percent it normally follows the market there's some changes we're going to make today but we still like emerging markets one of the highest risk portfolios we have not the highest but one of the highest penny stock member portfolio that's the highest one that is the highest risk portfolio we have the penny stock member portfolio right now it's trading up 0.45 percent it is earning equity on today so we thank and praise god that the penny stocks are moving let me go over a couple of stocks that are in that portfolio let's look and see where we can capitalize that so inside the penny stock member portfolio we got c-a-p-t Cap division, it is trading up for the day, 20.98%. It's up 20%. So when you have a stock that's trading up 20%, what do you do? Buy, 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 buy. You buy more. It's a penny stock. So let's check and see what we bought to the market for the penny stock member portfolio. We always check our balances. We want to invest more because when you, when you increase your position on a stock going up, increase your equity so we're gonna buy more the stock is trading watch this guys we own it let me give you the margin of profitability just so you know guys we're in the penny stock member group portfolio we own the stock for a dollar 35 cents we're inside of our penny stock member portfolio c-a-p-t christ anointing peter timothy c-a-p-t look like captain it's trade we own it for a dollar 35 it's trading at a dollar 91 it's up 17.9 percent for the day we're gonna wait for a little intraday dip and we're gonna buy some more we gonna buy some more. In fact, let's buy some more right now. It, it's a cheap stock. Why not buy some more? You have an opportunity to increase your position or increase your margin of profitability. And you ain't gotta buy a lot if you're a self-investing member. Buy a hundred more shares today. A hundred more shares will cost you hundred and ninety-one dollars, or maybe a hundred and ninety-three. You know, I always try to buy it for a penny less than it's trading for. The bid is 191, the ax is 193. I'm asked, I'm putting it in the marketplace. I'm gonna buy it for 192. How about that? You and, and then you put it out there. That's called a limited buy bid. You offer the price out there. That's the beauty of the stock market. You ain't gotta pay for what they're selling it for. You give them a bid. Let's refresh our screen, guys. This is Harold Dillon Jr., Internet Guide from Investment Group Partners. The markets are open. This is opening bell. We have made the transition from the pre-market preparation trading hour to opening bell. Opening bell means we're trading stocks live on this Friday, the last Black Friday. Hallelujah. We call it the Black Friday stock sales event because we're looking for stocks that's on sale. we watching the market live. You in my element right now, and I'm about to be on fire. The NASDAQ is trading down. The S&P 500 is trading down. The Dow Jones is trading down down what we look for on black friday is a stock that normally trades well but for whatever reason it's on sale y'all better talk to me this is the black friday sales event we started looking at nvidia we like nvidia we want to buy nvidia we played nvidia on tuesday we played it for 4.99 we put ten thousand dollars out there and nvidia let us down we lost about five hundred dollars on the deal pull back put ninety five hundred dollars back into our books but we like nvidia at 450 Let's check on NVIDIA. We're checking on NVIDIA, guys. If you've got a game somewhere, you've probably seen NVIDIA on the game, guys, y'all, right now. So we're looking at NVIDIA. Let's see what we can do with NVIDIA. NVDA. Let me just clear out my phone. I don't have all my stuff here, so we're going to use what we got. 
And uh, we're going to use a lot. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at God working in our favor. We're still, we're still inside the penny stock member portfolio. Let's see if our, our deal got uh, filled. Penny stock member portfolio. It did get filled. So we bought it for $1.92. We now own it for $1.51. So what we did was average up. Stocks trading at $1.98. <laughs> Hallelujah. Right then and there, you got to see CAPT just went up. They looking at a price target of $2.25. We next we're looking at Vroom, Vroom, VRM. Why do we own Vroom? We own Vroom because they're an affordable version of Carvana. Carvana and Vroom are the same thing. Guys, listen to me. You want to buy a car and you don't want to go to the car lot, you want to try something new, go to Vroom. V-R-M is the stock symbol, but the, the company itself is V-R-O-O-M. Give them a shot. Go to their website. We own the stock. You're buying a new car, get it delivered to the house. You can do everything. You get Amazon delivered to the house. You get food delivered to the house. Why not try the car? Vroom, V-R-M, or the company is Vroom. V is in victory, R is in righteous, double O, M is in Mary, Incorporated. Right now, y'all excuse me. <clears throat> Man. Woo, I should've got some water. So Vroom right now, is, we bought it for 74 cent. It's trading at 69 cent. But it's trading up 4.07%. This is a penny stock, guys. We're dealing inside of our penny stock member portfolio. We're going to be looking at NVIDIA because the markets are open. Short trading day today. We don't really know what they're going to do. We don't really care what they're going to do. We already had a strategy in place. This is why God sets us up in a characteristic trait of having strategies. Matthew 6.33, seek ye first the kingdom of God. That's your strategy for the day. That's your strategy. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. Don't do like the pagan do. Worry about what I'm aware. Worry about what I'm going to eat. Worry about what I'm going to do today. No, the Bible goes on to tell us in Matthew 6, 34, take no need for tomorrow. There's enough evil in today. Let's deal with your right now moment. And let me prepare you for today. I don't care what goes on today. I done did my preparation. God done prepared me for the battle because it's going to be a battle today. We just don't know when, where, and how it may happen. So God prepares you to be ready for something that's going to go. He prepares you to be ready for his return. You can be like the, uh, the virgins if you want, the ones that didn't go fill up their bottles. No, I'm ready right now. If it's today is my day, I'm ready. Glory be unto your name, God. So then you got to go to uh, Ephesians 6 and 10. You need to pull on the whole armor of God so you can be ready. So I don't care what the market does today. We already got a strategy. I don't care what the world does today. I already got a strategy. I'm going to smile at the world. And if the world smiles back, so be it. But if they don't, I'm going to keep smiling. I'm going to keep hallelujah. And anyhow, I don't care about the circumstances, the situations, the doubt and Thomases, the, uh, the people, the places and the things and the, and the negative Nancy's. No! I'm going to do what God told me to do. This is my day of victory. And I know it's going to be a battle, but I'm claiming victory in the end. But you got to see yourself being victorious. You got to see yourself being wealthy. You got to see yourself being healthy. You got to see yourself in a new car. You got to see yourself preaching. You got to see yourself singing. Y'all better talk to me. If you think that you can, if you think that you can't, you're probably right. <laughs> Hallelujah, Henry Ford. I dropped my glasses. Oh, man, I'm, I'm excited. Anyway, we're looking at Vroom. So what we're going to do, we're going to buy more Vroom. Why would you buy more Vroom? Well, we own it for 74 cents. We like the penny stock, right? It's trading down one of the lots. A lot can mean a hair, but we're talking a lot is a certain segment of stocks or a certain number of stocks that we purchase at a different time than we did another one. As they call that a lot. So we, we purchase a lot. It's trading at negative 8%. So we're going to purchase more to average down. We purchased Captain and we averaged up and the stock went up. So Vroom, we want to bring our 74 down to where it's trading at because the stock is still trading for today. Let's refresh our screen. We're talking about Vroom. VRM is the symbol. The company is literally, it's at 68 cent trading up 3.54%. Captain just went up to 203. They hit the target. Ding, 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 ding. Captain is already making us money. It's up 19%. It's at 203. We bought more. Y'all don't want to talk to me. You have to follow God's guidelines. You have to follow God's guidelines and watch your stuff begin to grow, man. That's how you scale up in God. Anyway, let's buy some more room. 
Because Lord said, y'all ain't listening to me today. And I do not want to be casting pearls to the swine. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we're going we're gonna to buy some more of this. We on, uh, let's see, 511, 695. All right. I'm going to try 305 shares. What about that? Y'all better talk to me. Let's see where we are. Five. So we're buying. We're we are buying room. It's sixty eight cents, and we're gonna buy it at a limit price. And we're gonna offer them exactly what they're asking for: zero point six eight six seven. So as we're offering them, we're gonna buy two hundred and five shares, and we're gonna put it in there. That's gonna add to what we already own because we already own this company. We already own stock in this company. We're gonna refresh our screen, guys. If you're self-investing members, you want to be buying Captain C A P T. You want to be buying Room. Uh, right now, we averaged down. That got us down to 72 cents. We owned it for 74. Stock's trading at 68. It's trading up 2.73%. Captain just went up to 21.94%. It's paying. ASTR is up 2.5%, up 25% on the back end. FRTX, Astra is a space. That is the new frontier of investing. Literally, excuse me. Literally, we are investing in uh, in space. And I'm not talking about empty space. I'm talking about the space, the new frontier. And so there's a lot of companies out there that are doing space. So we've got ASTR and we have SPCE. SPCE is trading down. Now, we're up in the back end. We got about 6.63% equity. When you look at your total gain inside of your portfolio, and guys, listen to me. If you're going to do this with us, I recommend a full service brokerage account and the reason why is so when i start going over today's gain and total gain you understand we're making money for the day the hour that we're in then the total gain is what we're holding so you have money you make today and money you got stored up if you have equity it's always going to be a plus in your total gain for instance c-a-p-t we're up 21.94 percent for the day so we're making money on that one stock inside of this one portfolio but in on the back end we're holding 37.79 percent equity that means our money is worth 37 percent more than it was worth when we bought this mm, y'all forgive me Anyway, um, we're still in the penny stock member portfolio. We're talking about ASTR. We own that for 25% equity stake. We're up 2.5% for the day. FRTX, which is Fresh Track Therapeutics. Now, Fresh Track is what? It's healthcare. Healthcare is what? High risk sector. But it's part of a 12 sector family, 12 meaning government in, in God's numbers. Out of the 12 sectors we own, four of those sectors are considered high risk. What do we do with high risk sectors? High risk sectors are tradable stocks only. Doesn't matter. That's the rule. They're tradable stocks only. You break the rule, you're going to break your bank. Tradable stocks only. Learn to follow the rules, regulations, and guidelines of God. A lot of times we want to do what we want to do because the flesh can never be saved. You are not flesh. You are spirit living in the flesh. The flesh is your vehicle. Learn to drive your vehicle. Other than that, you're, you have an autonomous car and your flesh is doing what it want to do. If it's thirsty, it's going to the bar. If it's hungry, it's going to Sally's house. If, if Sally ain't your wife. If, if, if it wants some drugs, it's going to the, to the man on the corner. Your, uh, what do they call that? Your plug. Don't let the flesh drive you. We're in control. We are in control. Before I was saved, my flesh, I had an autonomous car. Autonomous means self-driving. And it would drive where it wanted to go. Whatever it wanted to do, it did. And I just ended up there. And some mornings you regretted it. You've been there. Oh, my God, how did I end up here? Oh, my God, why did I drink that much? Oh, my God, why did I do them drugs? And that's what happens. Oh, my God, why did I eat that much food? So we don't want to have autonomous cars. So how did I get on that rampage? Anyway, we're talking about 12 stocks, 12 sectors. Inside of the 12 sectors are four sectors that are considered high risk. High risk sectors are for trades only. That's what following the rules. That's how I got on that rampage. So following the rules, 12, four of those sectors are high risk. We don't invest in them. We trade them. We'll play them a little bit longer, but they're tradable stocks. Healthcare is coming off of that high risk sector list, but not today. So F 
RTX. Right now, it's trading at negative 5.7% on the back end, which means we're losing equity. But on the front end, we're up 1.10%. It's at 77 cents. We own it for 82 cents. We bought it on the 19th and we, uh, 919. So we've been holding this for a while. And we bought it on 1120. Today's the 24th. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? FRTX. So now we go ask for help. What do you mean you ask for help? We, we have a team. We have a collaboration team. So Kimberly is on the collaboration team. And I normally I'm on there. But now God told me we did an hour and 17 minutes of silence. I was on the video on fire, preaching, teaching, giving understanding, having fun and laughing. And I had the microphone off. Second day in a row I did that. So anyway, good morning. Need help. See, now I'm texting her on F, what is it? The symbol is F-R-T-X. F-R-T-X, all capital. If, you, if you're sharing a symbol and you want to use the dollar sign as a hashtag, need help on F-R-T-X. Um hourly and daily so when they look at their charts ivory and kimberly look at these charts they'll look up the symbol for me they'll look at it's called fresh tracks therapeutics because i want to make a decision whether i want to hold it a little bit longer because it's going up in the daily right now i'm looking at it let me refresh my screen because i don't use the charts i don't depend on the charts i use the strategy so right now frtx Where'd it go? Where'd it go? It's up 1.10%, but it's down on the back end. I like Captain. I like Vroom. I like Astro. FUBU just hit up on the thing. FUBU just went up. FUBU, sports television. Why did you invest in FUBU? Wait a minute, because it's a sports TV. We're in sports season, and it's a cheap app. And also, it's going to grow. FUBU TV. If you got sports, you like sports, don't want to spend a lot of money on NFL ticket, get FUBU. Get FUBU. Go look. You probably get a free subscription to it. Get FUBU. Right now, FUBU is trading up. Uh, we own it for two fifty seven. It's trading at three hundred four. It's up one point uh, three three percent, but eighteen percent on the back end. Right now, we're gonna buy some more FUBU. We own three different lots of FUBU. Let's see you right here. We like our penny stocks. Penny stocks are trading up today, guys. Hallelujah! Be excited about the penny stocks. Markets do close early today. Let's see here. FUBU. FUBU. Let's see what we can get here. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna capitalize on everything you get. You capitalize on stocks that's going up. You maximize on stocks that are going down. All right, so we're looking at FUBU. Looks like we can pick up additional shares here. Hold on a second. We're going to pick up. Why is this thing not there? There we go. Sometimes I hate being away from the house. Uh, only reason why is because I'm using my element. I have everything I need there. So now I'm in my mobile element or my mobile, mobile element. <laughs> Hallelujah. Fairly, y'all guys are doing good. Hey, man, take a minute out today. Love on somebody. Hug on somebody. Let them know you love them. Call an old friend. Call a family member. Call your sister, your brother. Is my head straight? Uh, that you haven't talked to in a while and let them know you, that you're still caring about. You still love them. You understand me, guys? Let them know, man, this is that time of the season where you're giving more love and you're giving more things. Don't let the world determine or uh, dictate when you're going to give love. Don't let the world and their, and their pagan holidays determine or, or uh, tell you when you should love somebody, when you should give thanksgiving. That's the beauty I love about Corinthians when God is talking about communion. He said, do as often as you will. Then he gives you a reason why we take communion. But he said, you can do this as often as you will. Well, Thanksgiving, you can do this as often as you will. You don't have to wait to Thanksgiving to get the family together and have a turkey dinner. You don't have to wait and say, oh, I'm feeling thankful. You don't have to wait till Thanksgiving to give the man that's been on the corner all year long something to eat. <laughs> What are you saved only on the holiday? <laughs> Hallelujah. Come out from amongst them. Get over there. Oh, that's my new thing right there. I'm just telling people to get over there. We're waiting on Kim and them. Because they look at these charts. Uh, need direction. Somebody help me out. Need directions on FR. I told uh, Ivory to take vacation. She out there still trying to trade up in Chicago. Go enjoy your family. Need directions on FRTX. 
hourly and daily. Hey guys, if you're just now joining us, I'm Harold Dillon Jr., the internet guy, coming to you with a runny nose. <laughs> Here's my hat straight. Coming to you with a runny nose, doing my thing for the week. This is Home for the Holidays, our campaign edition. I'm going to be bringing you my crazy family, taking photos. I didn't do any videos yesterday. I should have did some videos yesterday. Um, and letting you guys come into our world, see what we do, how we do. Um, I do it the least expensive way possible. I take pictures with my phone i publish them and i tell people i love them <laughs> god allows you to do it the least expensive way we're coming live from my mother-in-law's home we got the fireplace behind me that's my new john right there i need to take a picture of that and make that like one of my screensavers i try to center it and stuff you guys would believe i got my, my computer sitting in the um in a, in a like a, one of her uh, her stools and i got the plastic chair behind me you can't see it but it looked like i'm sitting at my desk talking to you guys holly Hallelujah. But I'm thankful. I'm thankful what God has given us. You've got to learn to use what God has given you to your best advantage. And whatever you do, whatever God has given you, do it in decency and in order. That's what God gives us, man. He, he separates us. And we are sons and daughters of a king. That makes us prince and princesses. And as a prince, man, I've never seen a broke prince. Even Harry, kicked out of the family, living in California somewhere with his wife. He ain't broke. He's the epitome of money. But he learns how to serve in a monarchy. We are learning how to serve in a monarchy. God, man, you guys have to get out of this poverty mentality. You have to start believing and trusting in God. Walk by faith and not by sight. Because if you look around you, your circumstances may not look like nothing. Your situation may be bad and endeavor. The people, the places, the negative Nancys, the Dalton Thomases, what you got to do is say, God, take me away. Hallelujah. And I'm not meaning in a dead thing like to kill you or to, or to bring you into heaven, but to separate you. Get over there hallelujah anyway guys let's look at the market now i ain't got no news from kimberly in them yet i don't think oh wait a minute here it is here it is let me see the look on my phone oh she's looking right now hallelujah hey guys you're just now joining us we're talking about the penny stock member portfolio we have nine neighborhood managed group portfolios today on this short trading day this holiday weekend home for the holidays hallelujah our portfolios are waiting for the update my, uh, they have slow internet down here, guys. So y'all just be be with me. Tax Savings Family Fund is trading up. Ultra Growth uh, trading up. The Emerging Markets is trading down. Penny Stock Member Portfolio making money. Ding, 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 ding. CAPT is paying. Are y'all hearing me? It's at a dollar ninety nine. You know I gotta put that out there. Just in case somebody didn't get it, we have a collaboration team. If guys, you want to join the collaboration team, it's easy. You just ask. We put you in there. You get to see the real-time trading stuff that we do every day, what we suggest you buy, what we suggest you don't buy, when to get out, when to get in. We put several different mindsets together in different areas. I'm a straight-up individual stock buyer. Kimberly, she does shorts. She does options and uh, and puts. Uh, Ivory does calls. They like ETFs. And we put our knowledge together. Iron sharpens iron. And we get the best way on how to best manage our money and we manage your money that's why you entrusted to us every quarter our job is to make sure you get a return a return on your investment we may not always win big but we always have a positive return this is why god tells us in ecclesiastes 11 1 through 6 but we focus on 11 and 2 ship your grain across the sea after many days you might receive a return places in a position in a thought pattern okay god i'm putting my my grain at risk because grain is a commodity i might get a return so i know that's the risk he said but since you're going to take this risk and you're going to listen to me, I need you to invest. This is the NIV version. Invest in seven or eight different ventures. That Because you don't know what disaster may come upon the land. Every one of our neighborhood managed group portfolios has a minimum of seven stocks. That's the required. Seven different companies. And we have more than seven different portfolios. So if one's not doing well, we still make money. Well, Captain C-A-P-T, hallelujah. One stock inside of this portfolio is trading up over 15%. You know, and I'm just putting it out there. So you guys have got to know, is paying uh, insight, if you can. And she gave me an answer to what we was looking for, insight. Uh, FRTX, so little volume, below LOD. Uh, next level down is 76 cent, then 75 cent. All right, thank you. So FRTX might be going down. We're probably going to sell that. 
because it's already dropping. We've owned it for a while. So we're going to go ahead and sell it. And why do we sell it, Harold? It's a high risk sector anyway. We bought it as a play. Sometimes it doesn't play out. So when it doesn't play out, you sell it at market, get as much as you can for the stock. Because if it was dropping anyway, no need to lose more money. We're already down negative 5.7%. If you're negative 8% or greater, oh, if you're negative 8% or greater, depending on what the stock is, you sell it anyway. Or you average down to where you're no longer at negative 8%. Negative 8% where? Inside of your full service brokerage account. You have a today's gain, money I'm making right now in this hour. Then you have a total gain, equity I'm holding since I bought this stock. And the percentage I'm holding, whether it's trading up, man, whether it's trading up or whether it's trading down. So like Vroom, Vroom we decided to hold. It's trading up in the, in for the daily, dollar eighty nine cent, but it's trading down on the back end. We're losing negative 6.0%, but we made this a, a catalyst play. Vroom is a catalyst place, so we bought more. So it's trading at 68 cents, but it's trading up. We own it for 72 cents. FUBU, we're holding. It's trading up in the morning. Daily right now, 1.45%, but we're holding 17.56% equity. We want to hold at least 10% equity. 10% of what we bought it for, we want to hold on top of that. FUBU. We already went over that. ASTR, 25.63%. DCFC, that's Triton. Trading at 19 cent, we own it for 20 cent. But we're holding 2% equity because we bought three. We own so much of it. I think we got three different lots that most of our back-end lots are trading up. Even though the stock is trading down. We own because we originally bought it at 19 cent. And, and we're up 5.32%. Then we bought another lot at, at 20 cent, and we're down negative 0.99%. So our 5.32% minus the negative 0.99% got us at a plus 2.6% equity. I don't know quite how they do this math because that don't add up. But uh, we're trusting the system right now. We're trusting God for this system. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory be unto your name, God. That's DCFC. Then we got SPCE. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The Bible tells us to try, uh, have seven or eight different uh, ventures that we invest in. So every one of our portfolios will have seven or eight different companies that we invest in. Ecclesiastes 11, 1 through 6. Read it. Read it. Ecclesiastes 11, 1 through 6. Focus on 11, 1 and 2. You need seven streams of income. Seven is your minimum streams of income. How you going to do it? <laughs> That's a rhetorical question. SGBX. Now that one's down 15.97%. When did we buy it? On the 21st? Today is the 24th. Mm -mm. It's trading down on all ends. We ain't got to ask nobody for this one. We're going to sell. But you want to make sure you can sell it first. So let's go back. You go to your activities and orders. If you're using Fidelity, whichever way you go, you want to find out when you purchase the stock. Because if you purchase the stock under the same rules of most stock markets, unless you're a day trader, you, can, you have to hold that stock for at least two days. Then you can sell it. So if you bought it on Monday, you sell it on Wednesday. The day you bought it is considered a day. If you buy it on Tuesday, you can sell it on Thursday. If you bought it on Wednesday, you can sell it on Friday. Y'all got me. If you bought it on Thursday, you can sell it on Monday. Just wanted to let you know if you're trading regular. So we're going to be looking up to see when we bought, because otherwise you sell outside of place. You, sell, you sold a stock before the, the funds actually settled. Um, and you don't want to do that because you get a spank on the hand. SGBX. We'll go back and ask about it later, but it's trading out of ordinary. Once you follow rules and regulations and guidelines of God, you you don't have you just follow the rules. SGBX. Boom. You bought we bought safe and green holdings on the 21st. It clears on the 24th, which is today. So it means we can sell it. So we can sell it on today. Just check the systems. Want to follow rules and regulations? It always helps you out. You know you that money ain't yours. You found that you about to steal. That money's sitting on the counter. Tell about you blessed. No, you about to steal. God says don't steal. Follow the rules. You know that woman ain't your wife. Why are you sleeping with her? Follow the rules. You know you ain't married. Why are you having sex? Follow the rules. Y'all don't want to talk to me. 
So now when you sell a stock, unfortunately, you got to sell it for the bid price. You can put it out there, but we want to get rid of this because we're down 15%. We're down 12%. So the stock is actually going back up. So we'll get back in the stock, but we're going to get back in at a different level. We own it for 85. It's trading at 73. We'll get in. We can even get in a penny stock. We can buy it right back in the same portfolio, but we want to buy a different position. We want to buy a different position. So now you count the stocks that are in the portfolio. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is required. We can operate under five. Why five? Five is the number of grace. Learn what God numbers mean. Five is the number of grace. So, and so when you dream it, don't be like my mom used to be. When she played the numbers, she get the dream book. You dream about five, God's giving you grace. Grace in what? Lord, show me, tell me, talk to me. Meditate, pray, get answers to your dreams. Because though God speaks to us in our dreams. <laughs> But when we're meditating, when we're quiet, because we got such busy lives, we got the kids, we got the job, we got the husband, we got the wife, we got the bills, and sometimes we don't hear God. In the book of Job, Job breaks it down that a lot of times when we sleep, God will speak to us once, twice, but he speaks to us when we're silent. And if the number five comes up, note that five stands for grace. If the number seven comes up, note that that's God's perfect number. If the number 12 comes up, note that that's God's government. So then you ask God, what would you have me to do? What are you telling me? What are you talking about? And the way you hear God's voice is you got to have a relationship with him. That's up to you and him. It's got to be intimate. I can only show you the roadmap, but I can't make you do it. Anyway, guys, this is Harold Dillon Jr., the internet guy from Investment Group Partners. Loving you guys. We are in. Let me see what they got down here. Next level, $2 and $205 and $210. Hallelujah. We like that. All right, we like that. Good answer, good answer, good answer. Guys, listen, this is Harold Jr. We are in uh, opening bell. We transitioned from our preparation, pre-market trading hour straight to opening bell. I did an hour and 17 minutes of silent video. So the first video, you'll get to see it again. I did that yesterday, not yesterday, but Wednesday. No, I did it yesterday. It was just that I did another silent video, and I forgot to cut the speakers on. I won't forget, but we're going to be here until till Monday. See you guys Tuesday. I'll be back in place, back in position. Other than that, we're going to be filming live. I'm doing a home for holiday edition. Uh, we're going to be coming live from North Carolina, down here visiting family. Don't know when we're going to come back. Don't know when we're going to be back in North Carolina. There is a North Carolina project that's going on, Highway 301, guys, you didn't know about. I'm going to give you updates on that project while I'm home. I'm going to go by the property, give you the things. We have another project. We're going to introduce two at the same time. Um, every quarter, we come up with a outside the market investment opportunity. If you guys didn't know, we're doing the Philadelphia project. We've been doing that since the second quarter. It is one of the biggest projects we've ever embarked upon. God has entrusted us. This is a, a an $81 million purchase that we're doing. It's a $50 million a month Um victorious hallelujah return on our investment this is a lifetime of income and in so if you haven't heard anything about the philadelphia project you want to get in i'm encouraging you it's time to get in if you can't afford to get in the philadelphia project don't worry about it every quarter we have an outside the market investment opportunity we're going to have the highway 301 project that i'm going to introduce this weekend i'm going down to the property i'll do a live podcast we also have kwanza harris um there is a a, a business out there that's growing beyond beauty salons beyond beauty salons and um her project is an eighty thousand dollar investment she's looking for uh partners right now it's a 60 40 split eighty thousand dollars is is what their goal is she's uh not looking for first round funders she's looking for actual partners the initial partnership it's a minimum investment of $800. But here's business, not just a beauty salon, it's medical wigs. I wasn't even familiar with the return on medical wigs and how big that business was. Here's our opportunity to jump into this industry. She's moving her business from Texas to, to Vegas. And because we have a active investing member that's selling a place in Vegas, we bought them two together. We're gonna raise the funds because she's looking for partners. She's doing a 60-40 split on this medical wig business and beauty salon, but the return is in the medical wig business. The return is in the medical wig business. A minimum investment is $800. She's raising $80,000 for the purchase, uh, for the move, and for all of the necessary paperwork. You will be partners for two years. At the end of two years, she's buying you out. That's the return on your investment. But it's going to be a real investment, which means we got to go through the ups, the downs. We get 40% return of the monthly revenue. Y'all hear me? Monthly revenue. Plus, we own a beauty salon. It's the medical wig portion of the 
business that that that's attracted me. That's the part that I like, and I'm going to be posting more information. I'm a little late with her um, her offering because uh, we said we were going to do it. Um, but the Philadelphia Project, I'm telling you, somewhat of this project is that if you don't know the scope of what we're doing with TPP, learn about it, guys. You really need to get involved. We're talking about a lifetime of revenue, well beyond us, well beyond us, man. This is a 200 year. A return on our investment hallelujah but the ones i'm talking about today is kwanzaa harris with the uh, medical wig in the beauty salon moving from texas to las vegas eighty thousand dollar investment you can be one person and invest the whole 80 and partner with her it's a 60 40 split i'm investing sixteen hundred dollars uh, she's only looking for a hundred or less people to help her out 50 people can join 25 people can join once she hits her threshold partnership is closed the second one is going to be the uh, highway 301 project it is a north carolina project with a small business incubator this is another uh, government potential potential government partnership the uh, sort of like the ones we're doing in philadelphia uh, with a government that government partnership that's the only similarity uh, the highway 301 project uh, is a is a revenue generator also for a lifetime and that's the type of projects we're starting to look for. We're looking for lifetime revenue generators, not multi-level marketing, not Tupperware, not Avon, something where we can literally generate income. Because remember, the book of Ecclesiastes, 11, 1 and 2, but you want to read 11, 1 through 6, but 11, 1 and 2, verse 2 says, invest in 7 or 8, oh, 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 my nose is just running, y'all, excuse me, invest in 7 or 8 different ventures. Because you don't know what disaster may come upon the land. So I'm encouraging you guys, beseeching you guys, have a happy, safe Thanksgiving. Uh, my niece is having her 19th birthday party. Man, we home at the right time. And so you know I'm going to be showing you my crazy family. The market's closed at 1 o'clock today. I'm going to be finished trading. We're buying Save, Save, S-A-B-E. That is one of the deals of the day. Kohl's, K-S-S, Kohl's. That is the play of the day on this Black Friday. Uh, on this Dream Big Friday, Black Friday stock sales event. My name is Harold Dillon Jr., home for the holidays. Good morning.